it is that time of the year again. The rumor mills have started rumbling about the next generations of iPhones and people are getting excited. Not so much about the new iPhones but about the old iPhones like 12 and 13 getting cheaper. And with these two phones getting cheaper, a lot of people will be asking this question to themselves, which one should they go for? Before getting into answering this question, if you are new here, my name is Amit and I would really appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up. And in case you love this video and want to watch more like these, please don't forget to subscribe the channel so you can stay up to date with the reviews and comparisons I do here. With that out of the way, let's get back to the video. Overall, both phones look quite similar, except a few differences. The first and the most notable one is the camera placement on both phones. Cameras on iPhone 12 are placed on top of each other, whereas on iPhone 13, cameras have a diagonal orientation to accommodate the sensor shift feature, which was earlier available only in the Pro lineup of iPhones. And if you look at this spec sheet, cameras in both phones are exactly the same. Both have 12 megapixel sensors, but that doesn't tell you the whole story about the photo processing differences between the phones iPhone 13's new camera layout and its completely redesigned glass which is slightly larger than iPhone 12 allows it to gather more light and have better stabilization. And on iPhone 13 you get something called cinematic mode which is like a portrait mode for video. It gives your videos a bokeh like background and the ability to change focus dynamically. Either you can do it manually or let the camera do it for you. Though iPhone 13 doesn't give you the pro camera features, but they have introduced photographic styles, which are camera presets for your photos and allow you to customize the way your camera develops the photos. These styles are not Instagram filters as they analyze the subject of your photo and apply the selected style as needed. But is there much of a difference to shell out extra money on 13? I say it's not, unless you are a photography or videography enthusiast. For a normal user like you and me, iPhone 12 cameras are no slouch and the improvements in iPhone 13 are noticeable but not significant for a non-pro user. Let's move on to talk about screens, which look exactly similar at first glance, but then you notice that notch is around 20% smaller and a little bit taller at the same time in iPhone 13, which in my opinion doesn't really make any noticeable difference. Both screens have Super Retina XDR OLED panel and have 60Hz refresh rate, but iPhone 13 screen gets 13% brighter making for better daylight viewing angles. You may not notice it right off the bat, but iPhone 13 is quarter of a millimeter thicker than iPhone 12 and that is done to accommodate bigger battery. Bigger battery coupled with software optimizations of iOS 15, you get extra 1.5 to 2.5 hours of screen on time on iPhone 13, which is a huge improvement over 12. Let's talk about the final piece, chip improvements. iPhone 12 comes with A14 and iPhone 13 comes with new A15 Bionic chip which clocks in on a little bit higher on Geekbench. Both phones have exact same RAM, but all iPhones after iPhone 11 have processors based on 5 nanometer architecture, which means switching between applications feels snappier compared to iPhones of prior generations. After all, these are pretty expensive flagships. In normal day-to-day -day usage, you may not be able to tell the difference between A14 and A15, but features like cinematic mode are reliant on A15's processing power. That's why we cannot have it on iPhone 12 iPhone 13 is an improvement over iPhone 12 with a faster processor, better camera and a longer battery life. But it's not a major improvement. It refines what was already an excellent phone. There will be two groups of people who would be looking at iPhone 13. One who already own iPhone 12 and wants to upgrade to a newer version. For them I would say just wait for iPhone 14 to launch. Second group who may already own an older iPhone or wants to buy an iPhone for the first time. For these, iPhone 12 at a discounted price is definitely a good deal. There won't be any regrets. However, you are willing to pay a little bit extra for bigger battery, better camera and faster processor. iPhone 13 also offers a very good value. I hope this video would have helped you in making a good decision about buying iPhone 13 or iPhone 12. Peace.